Section 2. You are going to hear a talk given by a tour guide about travel to Esnia. First look at questions 11 to 14. As you listen to the first part of the talk, answer questions 11 to 14. Hello everyone. As you know, this agency has specialised in tours and independent travel to Esnia for over 20 years. It's a magnificent place to visit, but it's not always as easy or as comfortable as it might be. So this tour is designed to help you handle the bureaucratic hassles and give you time and energy to enjoy the beauty of this breathtaking country. The first hassle is visas. Nowadays, Esnian visas are needed by almost all nationalities. The normal visa lasts for just 90 days, but a renewal is possible. It is worth leaving yourself plenty of time when applying, or I suggest, from experience, two months. That should do it. The latest confirmed price is £30, but it should be noted, and a lot of our regular travellers tell us that the price may change without notice and hold up visa processing. So ring up the Esnian Embassy and check the price before sending out forms. Now, for those of you who are intending to take Esnia as part of a longer tour and want to wait till you get to another country, do remember that some Esnian consulates in neighbouring countries require you to provide a letter from your own embassy just to confirm your nationality. You can find a list of major embassies throughout the world in the student handbook on page 13. Oh, and one more thing. Check whether you need a multiple entry visa if you're leaving and re-entering Esnia on your tour. Before the talk continues, you will have a chance to look at questions 15 to 20. As you listen, complete the summary and answer questions 15 to 20. Now, some miscellaneous general advice. Firstly, if you are rich enough to bring in over $1,000 in cash or traveler's checks to Esnia, you need to fill in the currency form. Don't forget this. You could get into trouble if you do. You must declare all of your items and more expensive items, such as video cameras, on a tourist export form, which you can arrange to carry in advance. Regarding health regulations, although Esnia is becoming a generally healthier country with every passing year, neighbouring countries remain cautious with regards to health standards there, and therefore it is worthwhile carrying a health certificate. The one you need is the BM276. Now all of you here are students, and there will be plenty of concessions for young people travelling in Esnia. The Esnian Transport Authority, for example, issues a special youth fare card which you can get in any railway station. Just show your international student card. Information about getting this is in the handbook. And give two passport photos. And by the way, because there is so much bureaucracy in Esnia, we advise you to take at least 12 passport photos with you. They are not always easy to get done there. Finally, a bit more about currency. Pounds won't get you very far in Esnia these days, so they are no good. We advise people to carry either yen or Australian dollars. US dollars are starting to cause difficulties because of political disputes. Another surprise is that credit cards are virtually useless because of fraud scandals. Do carry traveller's checks, but we advise medium denominations. Large denominations increase the likelihood of theft, and small ones increase commission charges. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this student handbook has a wealth of information. That is the end of section 2. You will now have half a minute to check your answers. <laughs> 